Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Say happy Monday. Hello. It's Monday. It's Monday. Good morning. Morning. What? There's always a broom in the middle of the floor. My birthday. Your birthday. Your cake. Yep. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to Vlogtober. This is Monday, October 4th. And. Okay, just go out there with them. Um, getting a little bit of a late start today because I was up so much with the baby last night. I think probably like every hour on the hour, I felt like he was crying and I was getting up to console him and give him his passy um, with him teething and having a head cold, it is making his sleep really bad. So I decided to just sleep in. I didn't even get up until nine o'clock and I still feel really tired. So it is going on, what's well, 11 now. And so we've just had a slow morning, got myself ready for the day, got the kids fed. Um, and like Maddie grabbed a shower and yeah, so we're just taking it kind of slow. Um, but here in just a few minutes, we'll get our homeschool started and um, make sure that that gets out of the way. I typically prefer to start school after I lay Samuel down for his morning nap anyway. So um, it does push our... You have a snappy? I made one. <laughs> it's a fidget. The fidget toys. Um, it does kind of push our day late, but um, it's necessary because when you have a baby, you know, you have to just work around their schedule. So we make it work. But I am heating up my coffee and this is cup number two. Let's see if it's hot enough. I like my coffee so hot that you can just barely drink it. <laughs> and if it's not that hot, I don't want it. <laughs> always, fun fact, I always ask for my coffees at Starbucks to be extra hot, and they never are. <laughs> so, I'm like, why can't they just pop it in the microwave or something? I just want it really, really hot, because it cools down, especially after they add like the milk and cream and stuff, it always cools way, way, way down, way too fast. So, anyway, um, yeah, today we have homeschooling on our agenda. We also have, um, I've got someone coming after lunch to buy the glider, so I'm on the lookout for her. And then we also have piano practice today at four. Um, Gavin had a follow-up ortho, ortho appointment. He has like a broken finger. I died. You got poison ivy? No, I just put a Gavin had an ortho, ortho uh, a, appointment for his finger. I can't speak today, and obviously I need more coffee. But anyway, that appointment was made for 2.45 or something like that. He doesn't even get out of school until 3.40. So I'm rescheduling that appointment because he has missed school for appointments and for Jacob's a Marine Corps graduation and I don't want him to have any more um, school absences so I'm gonna try to reschedule that for some other time when he is out of school and then what else are we doing today I would love to finally move upstairs and clean Maddie's room and the loft that needs to be done but I've been putting it off but it, you know the longer I put it off the worse it's getting so, um, oh, and you know what I should do now that it's going on noon, I really need to get dinner in the crock pot today because with piano, I need to have a crock pot dinner because otherwise we end up coming back from piano and we're just like, what are we gonna have for dinner? So today I am making, let me just show you guys, in this cabinet, I have been pulling out my recipes and then hanging them like this on this hook for the week. So, and watch this one not be in here. 
I wanted to do, what did I want to do? This one. I wanted to do slow cooker broccoli beef. So you basically do like a flank steak and broccoli in the crock pot and then you serve it over rice. And I was just thinking that sounded like something different that we haven't had in a long time. So I think, I think I'm gonna try to get that. I mean, it looks fairly simple. I think I'm just gonna try to get that in the crock pot real quick before I do anything else because if I put it off, it probably won't happen. cup of beef broth, two thirds of a cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of sesame oil, and a tablespoon of minced garlic. It also calls for an optional red chili flakes, but my family does not like spicy anything. So this is gonna go in the crock pot with the beef, and then at the very end, we'll steam broccoli and add to it. And you also add like a cornstarch and water mixture to thicken this broth up a little bit. It'll come out, hopefully, looking something like that. And we can serve that over rice and it'll be really delicious. So, yum. Um, let's see. Yeah, all right, so that's, I'm just gonna mix this up. I'm just gonna cut up the steak and then we'll put that in the crock pot and it will be ready for dinner. All right, you guys, I've added the beef. So I've got these uh, beef flank chunks in like two inch kind of thin pieces. And I was just reading on the recipe, this can cook on high for two to three hours. So this dinner will be ready probably before, even before we leave for piano. So it'll probably be an early meal, like a, almost like a lunch, but a little later. <laughs> All right, what's the verses from last week? Actually, what's the first verse? Who can tell me? Psalm. I'm sorry, Proverbs. Proverbs 23, 17. Let not your heart be sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all day. Very good. What about the other one? Mason. The verse. Or the, um. The other verse. Can you remember it? Uh, I can't. I'm trying to think of what it is. Okay. And. My. And my God who can tend. No. <laughs> And my God will. And my God will, will surrender. Uh, my God will surrender. Nope. My God will help all your needs and supply. Will supply all your needs according according to the to <laughs> His riches. <religion. laughs> and my okay, Philippians four nineteen. And my God will supply uh, every need of yours Lord. according to His riches in glory in Christ <coughs> Jesus. Okay, I'll say it again. Philippians 4.19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Proverbs 23.17 Let not your heart envy sinners, but continue in the fear of the Lord all the day. One more time, Philippians 4.19 and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Mom. All right, now we're going to have, so we have Philippians 4.19, Proverbs 23.17, and now we're going to have Psalm 27.1. Say Psalm 27.1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Whom shall I be afraid? Okay, one more time. Hymn study. All the stanzas of I sing the mighty power of God. I sing the mighty power of God. Remember that one? Do you guys need the word? Parlor cool. Yet he will find a chink or two to slip his golden fingers through. 
The dusty attic spider clad, he through the keyhole maketh glad, and through the broken edge of tiles into the laddered hayloft smiles. Having some yummy food, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What are we having? Veggie tray. Some crackers, some cheese, some red bell pepper, and some ants on a log, and some veggie dip. That sounds so weird, ants on a log. <laughs> Not too shabby. <laughs> Very yummy. I love these. These are, my, wait, 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 Mason, where are you going? There he removed his slate, his chalk pencil, and his trumpet, and hid them under a bush. Then he shoved off into the water. As soon as he was afloat, he would tuck his head under a wing. For a while, he would doze and think about home and his parents, and then he would think about Serena, how beautiful she was and how much he loved her. Pretty soon, he would be fast asleep. When daylight came, he would swim ashore and eat a light breakfast of water plants. Then he'd put on his things, climb into the flatbed. He's going to need help, said Sam. That skunk will starve to death if we don't get that can off. All the boys had suggestions. One boy said they should make a bow and arrow. I need to see you guys. So, I'm trying so hard to get through our school day, but Jimmy came home because he had to do some work and he's building something. And, one sec. And um, he needed some help from Mason. Hang on, then ask, ask. Huh, say please. Please ma'am, in a nice way. In a nice way. Please ma'am. No. Say please ma'am. Yes, sir. You may have it. So, um, anywho, Jimmy needed some help. I'm gonna open it for you. From Mason, and for a second there, I was like, you know, darn, I'm trying to get through this day, and we're struggling as it is because of little ones. But I realized that what he's learning helping him build out there is also real life school. So, you know, we're just going with it. Um, we got through our enrichment courses and, hang on a minute, honey, not on this. Not on this. this phone's acting up right now. We got through enrichment, Maddie did her math. Am I going to watch Coraline? Probably. Yeah. Why, where's Coraline? Like, on Netflix? Yeah. Um, I'll delete it right after I watch it. I think it's on the TV. Anyway, I'm like getting interrupted so much, but bottom line is we do have piano here in a little bit. I just sent Mason upstairs to practice piano. And then when we get home, he still has to finish writing his final draft for his paper for tomorrow. So it's just like, it's okay. We're just going with flow. Um, I'm gonna let the kids take a bit of a break because we have been doing school for a few hours and I'm gonna tidy up and get this living room and everything sort of clean and picked up. At least dinner's in the crock pot. And I'm gonna watch Coraline. Hi you guys. So I am back inside. I've been outside sort of helping Jimmy with his trailer work. He was doing some work on it, building some shelves and letting the kids kind of run around in the cul-de-sac for a little bit. And um, it's like the safest time for them to play in the cul-de-sac when all the other kids are at school. <laughs> so they get some play time. Scary? No. Oh, it went off? No, no, no. Bring me the remote. Bring me the remote and I'll put it. Oh. So, anywho, I've been out there doing that and Samuel needed a bit of lunch. And I think it's probably nap time for Solomon. But um, as you can hear, there's a lot of crying. It's funny, this ravioli, I'm cutting it, in half, cutting it in half and giving it to him. And then he puts it in his mouth, spits it out, looks at it, puts it back in his mouth. He is such a stinker. So, in a few minutes, I'm gonna go take them in the wagon to check the mail. And then I'll probably come back and put, put him down. Here, take another bite. Nom nom. Num num. But I need to steam this broccoli and get it in the crock pot. And that should be it. Oh, and steam some rice for dinner. Here. All right, so I fed the baby and Solomon is busy watching the Grinch. 
We're already into Christmas movies, you guys. Do not make fun of me. Um, so now, <laughs> the baby is a mess because I let him feed himself some ravioli so that I could finish dinner and get the rice cooking and the broccoli steamed. But now we have another problem. Let me show you. <laughs> we have this problem. Is that a problem? <laughs> that looks like a problem. And a snotty nose to boot. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go ahead and give him a bath. So I'm gonna get the sink nice and clean. I'm gonna put the baby in the sink. from our little walk to the mailbox and it is now dark and my hair is looking all crazy because I just got into like this oversized sweater and my pajama pants look like this I got this sweater at like Goodwill or something it's like a XL or something that I don't usually wear but it's perfect for lounging and it's super soft and stretchy so I'm gonna wear this to kind of hang out in tonight. And um, I just got in the mail some head coverings from Garlands of Grace that I thought I would share with you guys. Okay, so I have this one, which I thought was super cute for fall, like a plaid color. And then I got this one. And these all have ties because my head is small and everything falls off my head. So I have to have ties. And then I don't have any of these like chiffon um, head covers, which I thought would be really cool to try because of the weight. So I can be kind of funny about the weight of these head coverings if they're really heavy and they feel kind of oppressive and I don't like that. So I thought I would try some of these lightweight chiffon ones. And these are really cute. They have like this little velvet ribbon at the top and then the ties are also this really pretty velvet ribbon so I am going to give these a try I also got in um, my replacement I had to send back or I haven't sent back yet because she sent me a label but uh, dress because when I got this is from the fall line and when I got this in there was a really big pull in the first one that I got. So I contacted her and she, before she even received the dress um, as a return, she sent out a new one and I am so happy. I love it so much. I might wear it tomorrow for homeschool community. It's just so pretty. I love it, love it. So um, anyway, Jimmy's calling for me in the garage. So I'm gonna go see what he wants. Mommy. Hmm? Well, no, show us. That. Oh, that is pretty. Look the at that. The tree just doesn't look great. No, it's super creative. It doesn't look you did good. phenomenal. It doesn't look good. Don't ever say that about things that you make. I think it looks great. Don't you guys think that looks good? It looks amazing. I love it. 
Let's try circles like that. That's perfect. Let's sure. let's um hang it up as decoration. <laughs> The lights look cool. Mommy. Oh, I like them. Why that lighting? Oh, that does look pretty cool, though. That is pretty cool. Look, it looks even brighter on camera. Can you see, Sally? Yeah. Cool, huh? You see it through the camera lens? Yeah. That looks neat. So I'm finally sitting down. Tomorrow is our homeschool day, so that means that I need to get in bed at a decent hour. So I'm gonna try to get this editing done. And we're doing a taco bar tomorrow during lunchtime. And I've signed up to bring two pounds of chicken, like shredded chicken. So in my opinion, chicken is much better when it's fresh. So I want to probably bring my crock pot and just cook the chicken. Is my phone ringing? cook the chicken while um, school is happening. And I hear my phone ringing, but I don't know where it is. Let's see. Anyway, uh, what I was saying is, <laughs> I feel like I'm interrupted like constantly, but I feel like I'm gonna wanna make the chicken fresh tomorrow. So I'm gonna bring my crock pot. I need to like leave myself a reminder because I'll probably forget. Tomorrow is taco bar for lunch. What's taco bar? Taco bar. Oh, like they make like you set up all the different ingredients for tacos and then you I go mean, through and make your own. But do they like put out the tacos? Stuff? Oh, yeah, everybody's bringing like a separate like ingredient. Like I'm bringing shredded chicken, like taco taco seasoning chicken. Oh uh, yeah. So anywho, um. Once we don't have to bring lunch. Nope. Yes. Thank goodness. I hate packing lunch. It's like one of the things oh, I really I despise. Have to bring a snack. So anyway, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. It is 7.42, I need to edit this vlog and then get it ready to upload and then actually like sit down and veg out for a little bit. So thanks for joining me today and I will see you guys again tomorrow and happy Vlogtober. Bye! October! Why don't you me?